So on to phase three then, as you can see, I will put in the top right hand corner the order of the specials as they come. Now this does, please note, uh, doesn't include any skipping that we think might occur if you reach the DPS cap before you are done with this rotation. So to start with, you've got the golden nature's blessing that spawns in the north. Now you both want to get one of those because that is going to be after the balls that spawn or the bombs, the yellow and pink things. Um, that will be the first special. You want to use that. Um, you don't really need to focus on DPS much um, and then reflect and debilitate inside of that because you do take damage still, but it just reduces it by quite a lot. Uh, I K'd in the first one, I think, on this just because I can. Um, if you're both on intercepts, which I recommend being on, it makes the last phase significantly easier um, to start with anyway. Then if you K'd, obviously intercept your partner. Um, just make sure you get the timing right of it because otherwise you'll take the or they'll take the last hit So make sure they're ready for that um, After that he will do a root stun and run is the, as far as the name I've got for it Basically what it means is he'll tr he'll st stop you in your path and 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 Sort of stun you and you have to freedom run away from it as he slams his hand down after he slams his hand down You then run up his arm um, as you can see here, so I like I free and then he places his arm, get up the top and then when this is going on the damage is increased massively so make sure you turn the soul split on uh, and just hit really hard, you can just basically soul split all your HP back and then as he's about finishing that attack he will then hit you quite hard so make sure you have devotion um, and he hits the person whoever runs up, um, you can, it doesn't have to be the same person that runs up as to who got stunned etc uh, etc, et it can be either, you know, either way around. Um, the next special he does is again uh, rain from above so the other person uses their dome um, and but doesn't use if they're the one with intercept or if you're both an intercept one of you needs to save your cade because uh, after the, this I call it the golden dome but it's rain from above is what he says um, he then does a hurricane purple spin and that basically just hits really hard and the only way of dealing with that we've found is cade and intercepting uh, you'll see here I actually end up taking the last hit of it, which is about 6.5k because Alex gets me a little bit too early. Um, after that then, it's Roots. So he basically will slam the ground then he says, uh, he says, frail creatures, it's time to die. At which point, you, as long as you're not the, if you're not the base, then you just need to be standing away from the base and the base just needs to move. Anticipate helps in case you do get stuck in them um, or freedom. I just move away from the spot which he slams on the ground it's pretty straightforward next up is blight uh, this is the same for the off tank as you've had throughout the rest of the kill um, so just deal with it normally resing reflect debilitate etc uh, as in my guides for phase one and two uh, after that again is roots same as before uh, then golden dome again exactly the same uh, another nature's um, blessing will appear up north so you both go and get that and then one of you use it for then. Then you'll have balls uh, or the, the yellow uh, bombs, whatever you want to call them. Uh, uh, rain from above or golden dome again, so the other person would use it. Um, again, you can Cade just to reduce damage, but normally just reflect and debilitate. Uh, and, then, and then the very last special it will do is the root stun and arm run again. Uh, at this point, if you have lacked any DPS, then obviously you can make it up um, on because you get increased damage again. Uh, and but yeah once you get this it will then transition into the relics phase four but apart from this the best way or to understand how it's going to work is just watching what's going on on my screen uh, and i'll do a full rotation you can dps as as always where you feel comfortable but at this point you really don't need to focus on dps at all uh, you have plenty of time in the, the phase four relic phase to really catch up on any dps you lacked and of course, as you get more and more familiar with what's coming and, and what's ready, you'll learn to cycle your defensives, your sun and your cade much better. I think the graphic in the top right is probably the easiest way of illustrating uh, each mechanic in this phase and hopefully it should help you guys out a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.